talking love. about. I want to see you. And for that girl backstage, they make it publicly clear. Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Rick James, bitch. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Told me that Park had been ambushed and actually shot for real, uh, and he'd been taken to the UMC. Um, so uh, he told me to just just wait for further information. He'd be in touch ASAP. Uh, Pack was recovering, and um, I'd heard uh, via the, the, the Black Panthers as well. And they then decided that they'd better hurry up and, and fake his death quick um, in case they came to finish the job off. I to him that. We wanted everything done proper, all official, as if it was anybody else. And um, unfortunately, he done the job a bit too well. In as much as the only mistake was the body that was provided, which I'll tell you about in a second. Um, the weights and height didn't quite add up, and I don't know who's responsible for it, to be honest. So at the time of the actual surgery, the, the body was waiting in the ambulance, uh, the doctor was in the room, uh, was in the room, Fini Shikur was present, Gloria Cox was present, and actually the two women um, had agreed with the doctor that he didn't have to witness the event, he could actually just turn his head, wash his hands or whatever. They quickly switched the bodies, one out of the ambulance, uh, the dead body, Tupac, who'd recovered enough to, to get a boat fine by himself, he, he then transferred to the ambulance and um, the next step was to transfer him to an airstrip. Um, again, with a hard marks connection, one of his showbiz friends, um, we had a private plane waiting um, to get Tupac on board. So the next thing that happened was me and my brother met Tupac at the safe house, comfortable. Uh, escorted him to the plane, um, the two Pampa guys were with us and um, obviously the pilot was there as well and uh, we took off and we headed to the Barbados. Mm, great, um, success, we helped Park escape. Wow, so this is a crazy story here. This makes me think back to the video, I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. The video was filmed in first person and shows Tupac getting off of some sort of plane or helicopter and landing in New Mexico, just like in Mr. Nice's story. The Tupac murder has always been the biggest controversy in hip hop, from the music he released after his death, to supposedly the fake autopsy photo, the fake death certificate because everyone knows Tupac wasn't 6 feet tall and 225 five pounds, to the outlaws claiming they smoked his ashes, to the government conspiracies, to the Crips killing Tupac over the Vegas incident. I Talking about, I want to see you. ceremony thank you
For real. Good to see you again, man. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. One more. One more. One more. Your voice is about it. Two more. Two more. I'm in here. Two more. And thank you, big boy. Big boy. One more. One more. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank Hollywood Walk of Fame to the delight of millions of fans from around the world for more than 60 years. I would like to introduce to you iHeart Media Radio Personality and Walk of Famer himself, Big Boy, who will be our MC for today. My name is Big Boy from Big Boy's Neighborhood, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to us again, Hugo. On behalf of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, we now declare today Tupac Shakur Day. Since the set, the stage is yours, Queen. Tupac knew deep down that he was always with something great. And as his little sister, I had the privilege to watch that greatness unfold. And now we gather here today to unveil Tupac's star, not only paying tribute to his contribution in the music industry, but also speaks values to the lasting impact he's had on this world. Today we not
talking about? I want to see you. Feel like, man, I feel like my brother just gets out. It got a side. I feel like a weight has been You know what I'm saying? I stopped drinking alcohol like April 11th. Right here. I might have a drink tonight. I might break my fast, but I, I'm no, I'm not going to because alcohol tastes like shit. Tupac deserved this, but it's a little long to do it, overdue. But that the, he got the he got the honor of being the 11th star given to a rapper on the on Walk of Fame. It's it's priceless. Well, I started my um, filmmaking career. Me and my brother started our careers with Tupac and his first three music videos. So I, I'm very humbled and honored to come full circle and help laminate his legacy do all I can do within the powers that of cinema and all I know to put him where he deserves to be, finally. Well, she's always been up there. We just have to catch the film up there now. It's amazing. Like, soon as I stepped out on that podium, bro, and when you looked at all these people that could have been anywhere and they chose to be here today, that just show you the impact that I continues to have. You know what I'm saying? So just being able to host an MC. Man, that that was magical. I mean, man, that that I, I'm truly honored to be out here, bro. Man, this it is just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? God's timing. You got it. Hell on. Yeah, man, Tupac is such a great guy, man. Music was. I wish I could have met him, but uh, I was such a fan. I, I feel like I knew him. I heard you. know what I mean? His music inspired me so much. His music would come on in moments that it was like, you still must be talking to me. I started to wear Tupac. I remember having problems and being in my car and his shit would come on. And, the feeling is, um, Pac is long, deserving, to overdo or something like that. You know what I mean? I know if he was here, that's, that would be his words. He should have got this 20 years ago. You know what I mean? Our law for life, not to barely live on, baby. Why y'all gonna have me going? That's what you want to go in? You got it? You got to catch it? She wants to take the photo first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let her take the photo Beautiful. No, I'm still waiting. I'm still doing family photos. I was like, well, I used to be in the uh, I signed a death row at the age of 15 years old, and uh, later on in the years, Tupac came over, and I had an opportunity to work on this postpartum album, All Eyes on Me, the Machiavelli album. A lot of people know me for, I mad at you. no, no. That's what most people know me for. And I'm amazed and I'm blessed that people still remember me for that small part and they still remember 26 years later. Cell phone, cell phone. Brown sweater, brown, brown sweatshirt. Ladies and gentlemen, and now we honor and welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Tupac Shakur! Talking about, I want to see you.